Hi folks, I thought I would take a minute here and um, give you some hints and tips on your final close reading essay for our intro to literature class. Um, just a few quick things that you should consider and think about while you are putting the finishing touches on your essay or as you are working on uh, writing your essay. So the first thing I want to uh, address is the number one way to be successful <laughs> and at the same time I will uh, also address the number one way to be unsuccessful. So when you are approaching a piece of literature that you're going to analyze, uh, like this assignment asks you to do, um, the main thing you want to remember is that this is not a book report. And so what that means is um, you don't want to just summarize the story. This isn't something that shows me you read the story. This is not um, how well you remember the names of the characters or the events or something like that. If you find yourself summarizing the story, um, which is the question, uh, what happens, right? If you find yourself approaching your essay and the question that you're primarily addressing is what happens in this story, um, you are likely to get kind of off the topic, off the path, and away from the main idea of what the essay is asking you to do. The right question to ask is why does this happen in the story? you want to answer why questions, not what questions. Now, you might have to summarize some parts of the story to let me know what you're talking about. You know, in this scene, the character is doing X or Y. So if we use, let's say, um, the dead as an example, um, in this scene, Gabriel is preparing to give a speech. Um, his speech is something he's very proud of. He is proud of his speaking abilities. But now, because of some of his encounters with other people, he is worried that he will not be able to address um, everyone at the table uh, successfully. And in your paragraph, then you could talk about, well, why does he feel like he can't address them successfully? So if your thesis is, what does James Joyce Dubliner say about class, then you might talk about how Gabriel's speech is geared towards more educated people, more upper class people, and might alienate people who are not of his uh, educational class. If your uh, thesis is about what does James Joyce Dubliners tell us about um, gender, um, then you might ask who is addressed by this speech? Will the men and women at the party interpret it differently? Will some of the men interpret it differently than other men? Will some of the women interpret it differently than other women? Um, and so in that scene, you would want to answer why he feels worried about delivering the speech. You don't want to say what he did. Gabriel delivered a speech. Cool. Anybody that read the story can say that. Your point in a close reading essay is to use evidence from the story to tell me why he delivered that speech and what the conflict was there. How was he feeling at that time? Why was he feeling it that way? And how does that affect your overall understanding of the main idea of the story? So think about why things happen, not what happened. You might have to summarize some parts for clarity, but you don't want to find yourself summarizing the whole story. My next bit of advice would be to how to, how to organize your essay. Um, stories, plays, novels, fiction, those sorts of texts are organized generally by scenes. Uh, plays are very explicitly organized by scenes and acts, um, but also stories are organized by scenes as well. So obviously there are chapters, but within even sometimes with, even within a chapter, there'll be multiple scenes. And so what is the definition of a scene? A scene is any time there is a change in who the characters, you know, which characters are there, where they are, or what time it is. So if you have, again, James Joyce, uh, one scene might be where Gabriel um, accidentally insults the maid by giving her some money. I've been talking to her about marriage, and then another scene might be when he gives the speech, and then another scene might be um, when he's going to bed with his wife. All those things happen at different times, the locations change, and the characters that the main character interact with uh, change in each one of those scenes. If you're analyzing a poem, that's going to be different. You're going to look at the structure, uh, and you're going to see how it's analyzed around um, stanzas. You'll see how it's analyzed around um, lines, images, those kind of things. With a poem, part of explaining it in a close reading essay is actually explaining what the organizational pattern of the poem is. So it's different whether you do a story or a poem. Um, 
prose or, or poetry. So those are my first, you know, my main pieces of advice. Make sure that you have a thesis that answers a why question and not a what question. Organize your essay around scenes. That way you'll stay organized and you can then say how each scene relates to the main idea that you are interrogating um, in the essay. This assignment does require you to use a source and it does require you to use quotations from the text that you are analyzing. If you find that you've written an essay that's, you know, you go the whole way through and when you're reading it over, you don't have any quotations from the story, the poem, the play, whatever, um, you have to go back and use quotations to give evidence for what you're talking about. Um, if you haven't taken a writing class in a while, a good way to conceptualize how to work the quotation into your writing would be the pi paragraph structure. Pi stands for point, illustration, explanation. Um, in that model, the point is the main idea of the paragraph. It says how your analysis in that paragraph relates to your thesis, the main idea of your essay. The illustration is going to be the quotation or the paraphrased example from the text that you're analyzing. Um, and then the explanation explains how that example, how that uh, illustration bears out the the um, the point, how the illustration demonstrates the, the point, how that scene relates to the main idea of your essay. Um, you really cannot be successful on this essay if you just summarize, if you have no thesis, if you don't include quotations and evidence from the text, um, if you write an essay that is considerably below the page requirement, um, those sorts of things will stop you from being successful um, on the assignment. But generally, if you have a good question that seeks to explain why something happens, um, you'll be in good shape. Just organize around the scenes, make sure you have plenty of evidence, and everything will be cool. I will have already given you some feedback on your um, essay assignments, and uh, I mean, thesis, uh, thesis proposals, uh, your idea for your essay. So I'm going to finish that by the end of the day today. Make sure you check out my feedback, and um, you know, I hope this video is helpful. I look forward to reading your essays.